Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. What brings the most pleasure and satisfaction to the hearts of Shah Mawlana and Shah Abdul Karim Efendi about their students' actions? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm going to speak on behalf of Saib al Saif, Shah Abdul Karim. I'm not going to speak on behalf of Shah Mawlana that way. I don't know what is in his heart. But I don't know what is in my Sheikh's heart too. But <laughs> Uh, inshallah, may we be in his heart. Uh, but I may say certain things that I know and have experienced. What brings them the most pleasure? What makes them to be happy with our actions? Actions. Uh, because we're not moving into intentions. Intentions, if you're a murid, you're living in the Dargah, you're trying to serve, everyone's intentions is good. We are not other faiths that say the way to hell is paved with good intentions. That is a shaitanic thought. In Islam, no. If you have good intentions, you are being rewarded for it. Maybe you have good intentions and your actions are wrong. You're going to be punished for your actions, not for your intentions. No one is ever punished for their good intentions. You may be punished for your actions because your actions don't fit your intentions. That's something else completely different. But to say that the way to hell is paved with good intentions, this is when philosophy gets mixed up and you're not following because these are not the words of the prophets. So, Sheikh Fendi, what brings him the most pleasure of our actions? Let me ask you, what do you think? What is it? The murids that are here, if you are listening to me right now, you can also have a live chat, maybe. <laughs> yeah? What do you think is the action that our Sheikh has been speaking about all his life that brings him, that makes him to be more satisfied and happy. Anybody knows? You must know. What do you say, Bilal? To carry your responsibility. What do you say? Yamal. I have to say, see, just to show. <laughs> okay, what do you say, other Jamal? Okay, what do you say? <laughs> what brings our share most pleasure? For the murids. For the murids, just uh, carrying the responsibility that is given by Sahib Saif to his murids, carrying it and leaving it for the sake of Allah and serving and having good manners. <laughs> You're putting five, six things together. <laughs> yeah, but what do you say, Abdul Habib? What do you say? And the people sincerely doing work for the sake of Allah. Right. All this is interconnected, okay? When you are being responsible, when you're doing your work and you're being responsible, that means you're responsible for whatever good that happens and whatever bad that happens from it. You're not just going to say, I'm doing good to do my work, but if something doesn't work out, you can say, no, 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 it's not my fault. You're going to take responsibility. You can only take responsibility if you're what? If you're sincere. If you are sincere, you can only take responsibility if you are sincere. That whatever wrong happens, you say first, it is my fault. Because the work is given to me and it doesn't work out. Why it doesn't work out? My intentions are good. That must be now there is a disconnect between my intentions and my actions. I must find out and trace. I'm not going to point fingers at anyone. First to myself. Maybe other people mess it up. Maybe other people, you make something and they destroy it. But if we are murids, we must know. 
And we must be prepared that something that we do might be destroyed. And we are going to be preparing so that it does not be destroyed. As much as we can, we must make preparation. Then if it does, we say it is meant to be. But there are other things there in that action too that is going to teach us so many things about ourselves, about the will of Allah, about each other, about this dunya, about the ego, about shaitan. Because the believer must not let shaitan to trick him. Correct? The believer cannot let the ego to trick. So if you're doing something good and it is not succeeding, and clearly it is the trick of either your ego or other people's egos or shaitan, then there are ways that you should prepare for that. If you did not prepare for that, then you're going to learn how to prepare after the fact, after that action. And preparation, to take precaution, it is wajib. This comes from sincerity. Once you start being sincere, and once you start to take responsibility, not only fulfilling the work that has been given to you, but you start taking responsibility for, for it, what happens then when you become more sincere? Your heart starts to open. Things start to work for you. You start to become closer. You start doing things without you controlling it. You say, this is exactly as Chef Andy wants it. There will be so many signs in front of you, behind you, everywhere that say that do it and it's okay. You'll feel the support that comes and you'll see the results of that. We are living only for the pleasure of our Shaykh, of our Prophet and of Allah. And if you are sincere and you fulfill your responsibility, everything else comes with it. Service comes with it too. Because our responsibility here and our work here is not to serve ourselves. It is for others. It is for the sake of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.